Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to Tea Time. So in case you don't know, this is an entertainment show that basically analyzes celebrity gist, uh, lifestyle, also important stuff, you know. So we analyze and break it down for you, make sure that you know what's going on and what our opinions are. And when I'm saying we, we don't do it alone. I have Ifelo Shike and Inola Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Eni. I am not Ife. I, okay. We might have the same name, mm -hmm. but we're not the same. Okay. So I'm, I'm more well Because you're looking at me, I would no, need no, 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 I would like, never. Oh God, oh God, please. <laughs> I would never, never. Ife might, but I wouldn't. I don't just and when he does, I will laugh, but I wouldn't do it first. Wow. Yes. So I'm a bad person? Yes. yes. Am I a bad person? Yes, yes. completely. Absolutely. You see, you, you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy. It's okay. As in, it's just it's a new week, right. guys. We don't yeah, have yeah, a ring. You, see, you, you don't know your enemies. You think me <laughs> that I can look you in the eyes <laughs> and, so speak it, the same and speak it with my chair. So you the same and the same I like. <laughs> see, <laughs> if you really really actually mean, made me trust her on Friday, oh I actually told you were on my side. I know. Okay. See, at least I'm bold enough oh, no. okay. to tell you. All right, I know all right. Friends. How was your weekend? So I'm your friend. Okay, right? enough of the inside <laughs> joke. Because okay. some people might not know okay. what we're talking about. But how was your weekend? Yes, in case you want to know, <laughs> just go on Plus TV Africa social media page and look for the bone straight conversation. Because yeah, my colleague is wearing a nice bone straight. And if you like it, you can follow the Instagram handle is there too. What's your Instagram again? Let's help you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Instagram? Oh, oh, Let's turn a story uh, from, from, from grass to grey. Yeah. Yeah. underscore official. Just and yes, um, you in case you need one. your oh, lovely like, bone straight uh, air commercials <laughs> that you really want to give her a real bone straight air oh, to like, advertise for you. It is, it's, you know it's, it's a good Moving time on, to do was, that. How was your weekend? It was wonderful Thank and you. great. You're trending. Thank you. Okay. How okay. was your weekend Stop too? It. My weekend. Uh huh. I Thank you. To, let's let's move on. <laughs> My weekend started from Friday. It was mm -hmm. lit, 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 okay. lit, lit, really lit. But uh, the weekend made me stop trusting women a whole hmm. lot more. Oh, oh! What happened, Ife? <laughs> not, not in my relationship. My relationship is intact. It just makes me, you know, I just saw how thirsty women can be. Oh, mm. yeah. you not see yeah. the test for men as well. Hmm? You not see the test in men. No, at least we are bold enough to not have a woman around when we want to be thirsty, mm? or not even call you that period. Do you okay, I don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. And okay. I don't know if you're really, really willing to give us the gist. I want to give you guys the okay. gist. I know I can't give you details, but I can only make you understand. Okay, make us understand. All right, so um, if a man wants to cheat on you, yeah. if a man really wants to be thirsty and not do anything, <laughs> he'll keep you away for that period of time just to keep you safe. But I've seen women that will be cheating on their men mm -hmm. and be turning tables and yelling and those men are even apologizing and begging. Mm. Right, so talking about manipulation. Yeah, oh. manipulation. So experiencing that, seeing that, just made me know that, look, it's a wicked world out here. Ah, it is a wicked <clears throat> It's a cruel world, it is. But yeah, I don't think manipulation is strictly gender, genderized. No, I, guys, what, some guys I see what you too. mean. But you see what I mean? No, like, I see what a you mean. man will totally avoid you. Which one is a man, you. if I... Wait, 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 no, we will avoid you. Do you know... That period mm. will not talk to you. In fact, that period were the nicest. No, it's a lie. It's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. It's a lie. Maybe it's you. A lie. It's a lie. I've experienced even one where I was pretty, like, it's a long story. And that's what, I don't want to make this conversation on this episode about that, but any, you didn't... I said this guy was begging. I'm so sorry. For what? Eh? For what? For saying that uh, she, she, cheated. Cheated. she was turning the tables that and she was cheating. If fair people, what boys do that all the time. You know what you're talking about? Uh, you are not serious. Please. I, I, don't do one from guys and you are the one for guys' Please, I saw it happen right With all the wisdom you've been screaming on this table, this is your first time. No, no, I've seen it. And you're so, telling me that men no, don't do it. This one was extreme. Because if fair men do that all I heard, the time. I heard, see, I heard no, you, you must, you all the time. I have a friend. I have a friend. Look, let me, let me, eh? I think guys do it too. They, they, they do it a lot. Like, I wish I could really. Like, I wish it was my story no, to, for me to share. Okay. But it's a story that I really wish. Okay. If someone told me this story of what happened between a, and a girl and what he was doing when the girl said all of these things. If you know, fair, it happens with men as well. Mm. All right. Did you know we have a lot of straight gay men? The day. <laughs> 
Mm? Have you noticed that we have a lot of straight gay men in Nigeria these days? Straight oh gay men. Yeah, oh. men that are actually married with kids and but they're they are gay. actually gay of and they have a family. Of and course. They... Of course. Of course. <laughs> like I, I, I heard stories this okay. weekend. What do you weekend expect in a society where it's not allowed? Mm. They have to just, um, marry the woman to, to just her face. Uh -huh. Yeah, which is one of the reasons. That's a strong point that the LGBT community in Nigeria actually push for them to elevate um, their freedom. Is that you are making things worse even for women because they, we would then bear the consequences of of marrying a man that's closeted anyway. <laughs> Best while members of uh, the really very... square <laughs> duo, Paul Okoye, alias Rude Boy, has shared in a recent interview with uh, with a with a media brand mm -hmm. that the that he planned to leave the group since 2007. The singer and songwriter told Saturday's Beats that P Square was never created to be in a music collaboration. Rather, it was a staged collaboration. He also revealed that his elder brother, Jude Okoye, as you can remember, that very popular name, was the brain behind the group. Mm -hmm. In his words, long words, I actually started my career as a solo artist mm -hmm. and I had recorded quite a number of songs. My twin brother, Peter, also had a dance group, which, was, which I was part of before but left after some time. Peter, he said that Peter was brought in to form P Square to create a unique group that would be different from other groups in existence. I was singing while he would do the dancing, and it was the idea of our older brother, Jude. Okay, so that's the inception of yeah. P Square. We only had a stage collaboration, not a music collaboration. What made P Square was the division of label we practiced. I was in charge of singing, Peter handled the dancing aspect and stagecraft. While Jude was our manager and he directed our videos. So he basically went on and on. Mm -hmm. In our case, it, it's like that of a husband and wife whose marriage is not working, but post lovely pictures on social media. Mm -hmm. People who do not know the details would see the rosy pictures and plead for the union not to break up but they don't know what is happening behind closed doors. The best thing is actually for them to go their separate ways. Um, some people think that all oh, that I said recently, but it has been going on for a long time. I can confidently tell you that my first solo album was supposed to be Game Over, released in 2007. I know you remember Game Over. That title Game Over meant I was done with the group. I recorded the album as a solo artist and sent it to some people, but they were surprised that I was the only one on the album. People said different things and I later shelved my plans. So he gave a lot more juice and tips into, into that. And I think for the first time, for the first time since the whole uh, Peace Square saga, whatever, this really mm. brought some insights. I think also the way he said it was a lot clearer. It wasn't mm. like he was trying to be spiteful, which is how mm. the conversation mm. usually goes. Mm. Um, just to like really share what was happening. And for me, I think the strongest part of the story was when he said that, this, that the breakup ha um, had happened long time before the public um, perception. So mm -hmm. for me, that makes it a lot more like, it makes me a lot more comfortable in their decision to split because mm -hmm. they've had a long time. It didn't, it wasn't like the public perception of like one thing happened and then why not feelings mm -hmm. and ego is, ego is uh, fighting and clashing. So let's separate. So it, it, I mean, some things just end and, mm -hmm. and I think that's okay. Hmm. Okay, I think, um, side note right now, I think this is the reason why some people don't like going into business with their family members. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it really takes a toll on your relationship if it doesn't work out. Yeah. Because according to reports, we find out like uh, Peter and Paul, they're currently not in speaking terms yeah. just because of what happened. But honestly, in my opinion, I felt like they were doing great when they were together. I loved, I think everyone, each one and everyone yeah. grew up listening to Peace Square. So I just <laughs> Okay, except if uh, the HM is just not this. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it's just funny. Do when you know that's what she says? The HM is not this. How old? How are you now? How are you now? Anywho, I think. How old are you? The way Fred does it, you think he's like in his 40s. That one ain't all. Hey, that's so. But that is so funny. It's just all of us grew up listening to me. Okay, I think. Our generation grew up listening to me. Yeah, our generation. Make it more specific. Don't even put yourself there. Why are you both of them? Why is your generation? Why are you trying to make me old? How old are you, babe? <coughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah, older than 21. So, mm -hmm. she, she's yeah. okay. yeah. yeah. older than 21. She's not on the bone street. Leave this bone street. Yes, okay. thank you. Anywho, I think we grew up listening to P Square. Yeah. I feel like they did wonderfully well together and yeah. I really miss them. But if it does their decision to say they're separate ways, but in my mind, I really want them to come back together. Yeah. Mm. Again. All right.
okay. <laughs> Aisha Tom Day, take the table. Spill your wisdom, sir. Well, one thing that I picked out from mm -hmm. all of this is um, when he started by saying that, look, it's like people in a very bad marriage, a married mm -hmm. couple in a bad marriage, and they take very lovely pictures for you guys. So um, we can all run to their comment section and be like, oh, we want you guys to come back together. Mm -hmm. Oh, we want this to happen. But nobody knows the backstory. Nobody knows what happens behind the scene. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of all this. There are a lot of information that we're not privy to, so I'm not one. Sorry, Fair. I'm just looking at your 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 earring. Hey, my 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 Kwanko has has elevated. I'm not money, darling. If I don't see, let me see. Please, after the show, can we go? Can we go get lunch? Yeah, what would you like? You see, I went to Oriental yesterday. Do you like stories? Ah, stories. You don't even know where that is. No, 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 I don't oh, know. Okay. okay, you can what educate about, me, expose you, me, darling. I want you. No, let's go let's get but, up. But you know, I don't eat the ah, red. Ah, mama, please educate me. It's okay. Wow, that was so quick. Okay. Hey. Okay. 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 You know, brothers, and yes, like every other family, you, you, even in my family, mm -hmm. I'm closer to A, and I'm not so close to C. Mm -hmm. It's not because I ate C; it's just because I vibe more with B. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, I think a lot of people should just, you know, take the back seat on this one. It's a yeah. family feud, you get, and nobody wins when family feuds. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, they will still remain family, and we'll still be wagging our tongues. Mm -hmm. Do you get? So, just let this one slide, and mm -hmm. I like the explanation. Explanation, but like you said, it's not coming from a place of spite it's this right. time. It's not coming from a place of hatred. It's just coming from a place of, yo, this is how it even started. Like you guys want to know the backstory, so I think this is the beginning of the healing process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? The moment when they begin to have this conversation, this was yeah. how it started. Yeah. They start having reflections. They start so seeing things. See, yeah, and it's not saying that, wrong. okay, yes, it's true. Yeah. It wasn't my bet right from start. Yeah. I started mm -hmm. off as a dancer. I started. Okay. So maybe one person would even say that, okay, but like saying, I mean, they are fault. Mm -hmm. ah, how do I call truth? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And I'm hoping they get to that level I when so, if they don't let pride get the best of yeah. them, I think they'll get to a level where they just be like, look, fine, we're brothers, man. Don't Even if we don't sing doing? again, mm -hmm. let's just be able to. Chill. But can I just yeah. ask you a question? How do you feel about them being individually like separate right now? Uh, okay, so um, P Square as mm -hmm. as a duo has always been a massive group. Like, yeah, you, you can't take that away. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for a lot of us that knew them as, especially not those of us that watched them growing up. <laughs> <laughs> those of us that saw okay. their career grow in mm. front of us okay. yeah it's hard for us to now listen i don't even know if you ask me now what song did paul I'm sing i cannot tell you I'm telling if you, you ask me what song did peter, peter sing, sing. Well, yeah. Yeah. it comes on on the radio it's a vibe it's yeah. a vibe i yeah. know that ah this is one of the peace square yeah. Yeah. but i can't tell you which, which of one? them Absolutely. so it's hard for me to keep up now but how do you tell me they do me i do you my oh, it was a jam that <laughs> time Mm -hmm. Yeah, you grew up listening to it. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, it was a jam that time. Really. Yeah, I know. I feel I absolutely feel with that one. Except it's a music video, mm -hmm. I can now see mm -hmm. who's what singing time. what. And I think that both their careers are doing really well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's they a do, that's they a do, definite, no, they can't definitely go down. Plus. Yeah. And a lot of people talk. Um, the moment they go in the video, they're gonna go down. Mm -hmm. They can't. They have too many investments. Mm -hmm. They have sure. too many <coughs> sponsors. They have yeah. too many people that believe in them. Yeah. They have way too many contacts. You have to be stupid for you to stay mm -hmm. unsuccessful yeah. after building your career. To, to that, that level, level. Mm. absolutely um, and I like really like the conversation that you brought up in regards to working with Your with family. families and stuff mm. I think it's such a bad idea I don't even like working with people that I'm familiar mm. with I think I, my my sentiments are a bit too mm. high that I would just allow things and I'll be like mm, okay I, my friend especially if I understand if I know too much about your personal life like let's say you went to go and break up with your friend mm. last week and then okay. I'll allow you to hit, miss that deadline but if you're not my friend I don't care if Dude, somebody has know. something except like it's life or death Trust me, look. do your work <laughs> Look, stuff. So look, I personally don't even I like personally that. will do business with family mm. and wow. still stand my ground. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I'm actually still doing business with a lot of friends. Yeah, I'm making yeah. enemies, but because <laughs> I have very good products, they still come back. Okay. Mm. Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? So you need to make sure that you put your products in a level where they can res resist you. Do you understand? Mm. So if they can't resist you, you so it'd be easier for you to put your food on your foot on the ground and be like, no, I'm not selling it to you. I just would rather not. No. I mean, even I was, there was even one time where in my apartment I had a friend 
really close friend were basically mm -hmm. like family saying that oh she you know she's sent um she's getting a new job on the island da, 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 and she wanted to come to my house and stuff like with all my heart i wanted to help but i knew that i can't do it because that's how you that's how you start wahala and then something will happen and it's just i, I just like to keep business and pleasure apart but anyway that's not pleasure anyway <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not pleasure for it's me, like they, for somebody, me it's, not, it's not business either. Family is not it's, business. It's and hard I think, for me to even do business with, you know, yeah, somebody that really I'm emotionally like attached to, you know, like... Oh, like, like love-wise. I feelings yeah. for you, you know, or I feel like there are things I can gain from you, you know. Okay. That's even harder. But when you're my guy, and I've known you since childhood, and I know you have the money. Okay. Okay. Is that, that means that, that, that you just want to, like, mm -hmm. overlook. Exactly. Don't you think it's no, what happens sometimes? Maybe fair. Yeah. 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 Like, some things that will happen in the business that you just, like, if it was someone else, like, they're not close to you, you lash out at that person. Yeah. But since it's your guy, you consider see. it. Because, uh, see, because it's my guy, uh -huh. I know you are not going anywhere, I'm not going anywhere. It's easier for me to be strict. But because mm -hmm. I want you to come back, right? I'll be nicer to a stranger. I guess we're just different. different yeah, people. I'll be nicer to a stranger to for, a, for a period of time, though. Don't mm -hmm. think I'll be always nice to a stranger. I may be always nice to a friend, but I won't be always nice to a stranger. Do you get the difference? Mm. So I think it's wrong for you to even do start up with, you know. I'd rather do start up with my family and make the money sharp, sharp, and even, <laughs> you know, and then make it back because you know they will pay you immediately and they want to support you. I mean, you it's good to know yourself. I yeah. know which one works for you. That would definitely not work. Yeah, for so me. that's what works for me personally. Alrighty. Shatawale was nearly thrown into jail and would have spent nothing less than 25 years for sleeping with a minor. This story, let me just give heads up. This story doesn't make any sense to me. Um, <laughs> The AO hitmaker um, has, if not for God's intervention, he would have been thrown into jail for sexual offense. He narrated this ordeal when he had an interview with someone, I don't remember who, I will not mention because they did not give us money to advertise their name. He said it's what he was living in uh, Labadi, Accra. He had sex a sexual affair with a teenager, but later found out that she was below 18 years old. Shasewali told the media in an interview that he was locked up in the cells for sexual offense when he was rising into fame. This was a while ago. It said God appeared to him. Like he appeared to Moses in the Bible, hmm. and he saved him. He, the police said, he, um, she was a minor, and, and I was like, this is him quoting, and I was like, I talked to the girl, and she said she was 18. So <laughs> I accepted what they were saying, and I only had to beg. So um, I, I called my family and my friends, but nobody was out there to get me. And you know, they were um, processing me for the court for 25J. It was just talking shit. I was talking place, place, place. Mm -hmm. Really in his feelings. You know, Shasawale is very, like, emotional and stuff, but... Um, I went and did the research of when he was talking about this, and he was like late, in, like late twenties, late, late, late twenties. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, shall I go first? Uh, go, go, go. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't. I think you've gone already. So mm, it doesn't I mean, make sense. To you. I mean, I don't like the idea that he thinks eighteen is not. I don't know. It's I don't know. What? Like eighteen is enough. Like, I don't. I don't. Uh, know. No, no, no. Where, where are you get into with this? Okay, so. Hmm. This is now a very biased opinion. Very. And I understand that, yes, legally speaking on paper, yeah. 18 is an adult. Uh -huh. But there are, just some, there are just some things that Don't if you have there. to you're, ask... You're never going to change if that. You, wait, 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 wait. I'm not okay. changing. I'm not saying it's illegal mm. to do that. Listen okay. to what I'm saying. Personal, personally, personally, if you're a lot older than mm -hmm. an 18-year-old who just finished teenage, in fact, she's still a teenager, just a legally allowed one, mm -hmm. and you have to ask about her age... With your with, when you're about to go like sexual and mm. stuff, in my opinion, I feel like it's not necessary. In right, my let opinion, you, let me ask you a okay. question. Now. Yeah, if um, you know, I have a girlfriend, of course, right. and if I tell you that okay, it's not working, maybe like this on Monday, I tell you the next day, I'm like, so I'm dating this new girl, in fact, she's coming to meet you guys, yeah. mm -hmm. and then I introduce her to you, and you're like, oh, she looks really young, and I say, yeah, yeah she's 18. Would you change your perspective about Absolutely. me? Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, yes. yes. Really? Yes. Yes. That yes. I'm telling you I'm dating an 18-year-old girl. Ha, <laughs> it will absolutely... So you wait, probably wait. not be my friend no more. Uh, no, I, I, not mm, as if I won't be your uh, friend no more, mm, but I'll just look at you like... No, she's young. saying she won't. No, I mean... Okay, I'll yeah, just feel like, we okay, you see the we'll age gap between two of you. Yeah, yes. She's still a child. Fine, she's she can still be 18. a child. Mentally, she's still a child. She is still a child. She's still a child. And you see, the thing is... Can I ask you a question? Yes. At what age did you start dating your man? Which man? The one I'm with. Yeah. 23. Which, I don't get it. You confused the more. 23. Mm -hmm. 23. Uh-huh. 
That's just how many years from 20, from 18. Oh, I see. Let me educate you on something. Not, is it. Let me educate so you. Let me educate like, you really quickly. Do you know I've met a lot of 18 year old mm -hmm. girls that are more mature than the 25 year old girls. And I've met a lot of 25 year old girls that ah. are more mature than okay. 40 year old women. If, uh, and let, have let, let the women, so let the women handle this conversation very quickly. Mm -hmm. And okay. let me be clear. Okay. Let me yeah, be, I let, really love to Let learn, me be so clear like to about guys. something yeah. before I even start. There is nothing wrong with having a big age gap between the both of you. So mm -hmm. don't confuse what I'm saying. Mm. The difference here is when one of the parties involved, boy or girl, is a child and the other person is an adult. So if you told me that, wait, wait, let me finish. Wait. Let me tell you. If you say that a 40-year-old is dating a 27-year-old, that that's right? like 20, almost how many years in between? Mm. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. But an 18-year-old mm. is a teenager. Mm. That was a teenager like the day before. Do you understand know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, she has not experienced age anything. Is still a teenager. And the fact that you have to even bring up age. You see, when, he told, when I read the story and he said, um, Oh, how old are you? And she told me 18. Mm -hmm. I feel like that already speaks that she didn't, she didn't exude she didn't enough look. maturity for you to even want. Ask for it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's some people that I'll be really shocked. Like, um, Akon's story. I don't even remember Akon's. Mm -hmm. They won't let no, me out, whatever. Yeah. He talks about it a lot. Mm -hmm. She looked like this babe looked like a grown woman. woman yeah, and yeah. like she was working, like he had met her in the bar yeah. working. You're not even allowed to work until you're 18. Mm -hmm. So he had all these things to make it look like, oh, you know, she was a grown, um, woman. She was a grown mm -hmm. woman. And so the age um, conversation didn't even come up. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna tell me that you're like you're already suspecting that, why are you growing enough, you, bro? Mm -hmm. Calm down and do it somebody else who's older. In regards to dating, even if the child, even if the girl is 18 and she has experienced a lot, she has not experienced more than 18 years on this earth. Sure. She was she was treated. Wait wait, wait wait wait. She was treated like a child the whole time, and you have to admit that there is a power play conversation that goes on when you are dealing with somebody who is still very impressionable. Mm -hmm. She's always been under counsel. Do you feel like you always been, to let, 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 let uh -huh. me finish really quickly. Okay. She's been under counsel. She's always had guardians or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, she's always had a mother or an older somebody. And now you're, you're dating her. She's not been able to I'm live older life. older somebody and she, guardian. Exactly. About Why that? are you guiding and influencing in that <laughs> manner? You're the person that you're going to have a sexual relationship with. True. It's very sick. Very it's sick. Not, it's not if sick. You cannot be in your 30s Love. and go and date an 18 year old. I would what not are you talking with that. About? I would 18 not. 18 is a legal age. No, 18 no. is a time when you're allowed to In Nigeria, leave. 15 year olds are legally mm. allowed to marry and no, date no, 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 no. old we men. Know, we know what is wrong. What do you wrong, mean you know? Right. So why are you bringing legal as a point of, con of, a point of reference no, here? No, 15, it's legally 15, allowed 15, to genitally uh, mutilate a woman's um, fact, clitoris. Is, okay. 17, it is like legal. 17 and legal. 9 it's months. Not a point. 17 and 9 months <laughs> is illegal. I but you know, the moment you are 18 and a day, you're a grown woman, man. Trust me, my guy, you are grown. It, you are not grown. Are you joking? No, you are not grown. 18 and grown. two hours, you are a grown woman. No, I mean, the only thing that it saves you from is not going to jail. But it's still morally corrupt, in my it's opinion. It is, it is. So you feel like Let's that's what? Wait, 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 now, if you feel like the 18-year-old girl you're with, right, is really not too mature, doesn't have the mental capacity to handle stuff like relationship, then it is morally, it is your responsibility now as a responsible person to now say, okay, now this is me taking advantage because she really does. But I've met a whole lot of 18-year-old girls, and trust me when I say I've met a whole lot of 18-year-old okay, girls let me, okay. that are really really okay, if, um, really smart okay. they have their stuff no, going on reason. they've done stuff okay. let me ex let me ex let me ask you something yeah when it comes to relationships yes. can you admit that it can go wrong like a person can lose themselves or Definitely. or like not be able to see signals early or not be able to get themselves out of a situation and all of that it takes experience oh, right yeah. To be able to do that. It, it, it's because I, I'd seen um, red flags and I knew how, what that red flag means. That the next relationship, I would then say, oh, okay. Do you understand you what I mean? Wait, 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 let me finish. When did that girl start dating adults? 
if she just clocked a year. <laughs> because was she dating adults when she was 15? Because that would have been wrong as well. I could, I could was she dating adults love. when she was 14 no. or 12? So when did she find the experience and the time to start mm -hmm. to become a, gr a, a grown full woman that can handle your flaws, your insecurities, your passion, your everything? I the fact that we always think about it. She does not want to do. Of you know, I, I always hate the fact that we think mm -hmm. we can get the mental capacity of other people. The fact that it didn't work for you at that age. At 18, I was a grown man. I was doing stuff that I knew that at 18, my 18-year-old friends were not doing it, or they didn't even have that street smartness. But I was, and I could handle myself. Do you understand? And it helped me a long way. The same thing, so don't let us make it about gender. Even a man at 18, Bro. hold up, hold up. Even a man at 18 is saying like he's old enough to handle himself. What's wrong with a woman? Why are we always making it like a gender? He yabby, said, yabby, yabby, I would yabby. have it's a serious that. problem with an 18 year old boy dating yeah. a 30 year old woman. Mm -hmm. I will be very disgusted. Yeah. This is not a gender thing, this is protecting children. They are kids. And they, see, see, the you're, you're, they're they're man, see they, even the girl, I wouldn't be more impressed. She's not all relationships are sexual. It's just because the mind and the world is so uh, corrupt that you think that because a so, girl that is uh, 18 okay. is dating a 30-year-old man, she's sleeping with him. And oh. do you know that there are 18-year-old girls that are in relationships I'll be very worried, virgins? though, if you don't have any sexual, okay. well, sexual so attraction to your partner. Thank you, because our minds are dirty. Relationships dirty. are we not for age. sex. We just be contented with just talking to her or sharing books. Or what, what, what do they want to do? <laughs> hey, you know, do you know that there are times when you just want to see other people grow? You love them so much that you just want to see Let them, them grow. grow. And you want to be part Let of their growth. Let them grow. Fire from Have you guys seen that? Thank you. Um, we're going to just like, go on a quick music break. because I think feminist things are, It's not feminism, be fair. Don't be a people. creep. Go to the adults. I beg you in the name of God.